Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And today we are going to talk about San Diego Comic-Con and an upcoming panel that's going to be there for the show Vikings. Uh, but before we get into that, I do want to mention that, uh, you know, for the next couple weeks on Seek and Destroy, this will be my main outlet for Comic-Con news. So, you know, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Any cool panels I hear about, especially shows that I watch or I keep up with or just started getting into, Whatever it is, I'm going to try to cover them here for you guys. And make sure you cover my other Comic-Con news when it comes out. You know, I'll be helping out my friend Andy Babak at the Flash podcast. He also works on Marvel Report, and he's a writer for Screen Rant and things. So uh, I told him I would help him out with a couple things. And, you know, so you'll see articles of mine going up at some point um, or things going over to Andy. So anytime that stuff posts, I'll put them in the description box down below on those episodes when I mention them. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of Comic-Con news coming up. And today, this one I'm very excited about because this is about a show called Vikings, which if you haven't seen it, I can't recommend it enough, especially all you Venom fans out there, you Parasites. Uh, you guys are awesome, and I know you like, uh, you know, kick-ass stuff. Uh, you know, uh, I know I'm already swearing in this episode, but uh, but I know you guys are, are fans of... Um, you know, just big epic battles, like, you know, what's happening in uh, Venom right now in the comic books, they tied it back to Beowulf, and, you know, and they have uh, Thor is now a part of the story with the Grendel and Null and the god of the symbiotes and stuff. So I know a lot of you guys out there would be interested in things like this, uh, who are fans, especially of Marvel Comics and stuff, and of Viking mythology in general, you should really check out this show. It's really cool. I've been, people have been telling me about it for years. You got to watch this, you got to watch this. But you know me, I mean, I barely watch shows at all. I mean, every once in a while, I'll put on a rerun of a show I've already seen before, and I just have it on as background noise. I watch YouTube all the time, and so I know about some of the plots and story points from YouTube videos from Vikings because it's interested me, and like I said, uh, friends of mine have recommended it to me. Even my mom, she's like a huge fan of this show, and, she, and her and my brother watched it all the time, and now that it's coming back, they're excited to watch the final season, and they've been telling me, you got to watch it. You know, we know your tastes. You got to check it out. And they were right. During this pandemic, obviously, I've had downtime, and I've finally been able to get caught up on shows. So I got Hulu, and, you know, Hulu's doing a free month right now, which is awesome. And uh, But I got Hulu, and I think that that's running throughout, you know, as long as the pandemic's happening, I think they're doing free months. So if you are out there and you don't have Hulu and you want to check out some cool shows, get it for free. And check out Vikings. It's really, really awesome. The show's about Ragnar, who's a historical figure, actually. And he started off in the show, because um, these are kind of like loosely based on, on what's actually happened. And Ragnar starts off in the show, and he's kind of just a guy. You know, he's like, he lives in a village. There's kind of a, a king-type person who oversees the village who says, Hey, everyone, don't sail west. There's nothing out west. You know, uh, everyone just keep going east, and we'll get our riches and everything over there. But Ragnar is very sure uh, because he's getting signs from the gods, from Odin and everyone and Thor, that uh, he should go west. And so he does, and that is where the, the journey of the show starts, pretty much. And uh, and, it, and it, basically every season it jumps years. So that's what's kind of cool about the show, is that he starts off in season one, he has a son named Bjorn, who's 12 years old. Uh, but then in season two, Bjorn's like 18 or 19 years old. And then the next season, he's like in his early 20s. And so it jumps ahead uh, until where, after season three, Bjorn becomes the main character and Ragnar is no longer around. And and we're still wondering, is he dead? Is he missing? Like, what's going on? And then now recently with the attack on Bjorn, uh, it might, he might be gone now too. And so we're like, well, what's going to happen on this final season? You know, so what they do is they've been splitting their final seasons. The first three seasons were 10 episodes each, roughly. I think season one was nine episodes. And then it's like 10 episodes after that. But then season four, when Bjorn kind of takes over, uh, that season is broken into two halves. It's like you know, 10 episodes, and then a second half of 10 episodes. And that's what season five did, and that's what season six is doing. So they filmed everything before the pandemic. They got everything done. They've been editing and working on it remotely, I believe. And now it's all coming, and they're going to talk about it at this panel, uh, which is called A Look Back with the Lothbrooks, uh, which is Ragnar's last name and his brother Rolo. And uh, and so this is the celebrating six years, uh, six seasons of this show at San Diego Comic-Con. And uh, the panel is going to be on July 24th at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. That's Pacific standard time uh so you know for those of us, us here on the east coast we'll be watching that from 2 p.m to 3 p.m uh, but i unfortunately i won't be able to i'll be working that day my only days off are thursday and fridays i mean sorry uh tuesdays and thursdays <laughs> not thursday and friday tuesdays and thursdays are my only days off so i won't be able to watch this live and do like a reaction that way but i will watch it later when i get home from work and i'll make a video on the information they cover on it but i'll put a link down below if you're around on that friday if you're sitting at home and you're looking for content to watch Please check out this panel. It's going to be awesome. They have Michael Hurst there, who is the creator of the show. And I think the only writer, I mean, that sounds insane to me because I've worked in television stuff before. Having one person kind of be the, the head of the writing and doing all the writing, 
that's, I mean, the one thing is you'll probably lead to consistency, uh, you know, but there's, there's pros and cons of being a sol sol solo writer and being like a working in a, a group environment. There's pros and cons to both. So it's got to be hard work, uh, you know, just being the, the one person. But if he is a solo writer, obviously that doesn't mean every idea comes from him. He, he works out things with actors, talks to directors, talks with people on the crew, maybe, you know, it's a collaborative effort. We talk about that all the time, making movies and TV is teamwork and when something comes together and it's good like this show it's then you have a good team in my opinion this show like i said people have been telling me to watch it for years and now i finally have during this pandemic and i'm digging the show it's so awesome it's so awesome and like i said you can watch it on hulu it's on history channel also and history channel if you have the app you can watch all these cool behind the scenes videos on the show too which will teach you a lot about the show and stuff so a lot of cool content out there for Vikings. Vikings has been to Comic-Con before. I've been going since 2004 to Comic-Con. And the past couple of years, Vikings will go and I'll see their stuff. They, they'll, they'll like have through the crowd, they'll do like a Viking funeral, you know, outside. They'll have the boat, you know, from the show or something. Like they do all these cool, crazy events outside that are very big, very epic, that uh, really draw in a crowd and get people excited for the show. And this show has a really solid fan base um, and very dedicated one too. And if you aren't part of it, get a you know be a part of it now because it's awesome like i said this show really pulled me in and i'm i kind of mad at myself for you know even though i only watch like i go to like the theater four or five times a year maybe um probably even less now because of all this but even before this i'm just not that kind of, i just don't go out that much and you know and even tv i sit around and watch youtube all the time i don't really watch tv so uh so for me to get into a show it's already hard enough to get me to watch it but this one i was like all right, I feel like I'm going to dig this, and, and I do. It's actually a really great show. And if you're out there interested in Viking lore and mythology at all, you should check it out. It's really, really cool. And so we're going to have a lot of guests on this panel. We're going to have uh, uh, Travis Filmel, who plays uh, Ragnar, the, you know, the main character of the first few seasons. Uh, then we'll also have Alex Ludwig, who plays Bjorn, who's kind of his son, aged up, and he's the main character of the current seasons, like four, five, and six, you know, and stuff. So, I mean, he was there in like seasons two and three, but he kind of took over as, as the lead in a way. Um, then we have Lagertha, who is Ragnar's wife, played by Catherine Winnick, who is super awesome, very talented. And she, from episode one, I knew I was going to love that character. Uh, but there's a lot of um, interest, you know, for me behind her, because I'm still kind of curious, like, is there have been talks that maybe Bjorn isn't actually her son with Ragnar, that maybe Rolo, who is Ragnar's brother, played by Clive Standen, might be his son, um, which that's interesting in and of itself because we might, we're gonna talk about Valhalla here in a little bit, but that might involve Leif Erikson and, uh, and uh, also William the Conqueror. And William the Conqueror is a descendant of Rolo in history, you know? So I'm curious how that's gonna play out, if that will play out in the Valhalla show. So uh, I don't know. So I, I feel like I need more information on that. I mean, uh, you know, Bjorn says he's Ragnar's son, but you know, It'll be, I'll be interested to see where that goes from there. Uh, but then also Jordan Patrick Smith, who plays Ube, he's the other son uh, of Ragnar. And so, uh, and Ragnar has a couple of kids, actually, him and Lagertha. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so th th those actors and actresses are going to be on the panel. Um, Michael Hurst will be there, like I said, the main writer of the show. And like I said, to do all that, you know, coming from him and working with all these talented people, that's amazing. Like that to me, I think is why this show is so great, because clearly Michael has talent. But then all these people, these actors, like, you know me, I always talk about people who commit to their roles. I'm telling you, man, these actors commit to these roles. And I've seen some of them in other stuff. And I'm still, like, thinking of them as these characters. Like, they're very devoted to this. Especially the guy who plays Floki uh, in season one. Like, uh, he really stood out to me. Um, not Loki, but Floki. And he, that guy, I mean commitment, man. There's a lot of commitment to these characters. And, uh, and now that's, I think that's why they become fan favorites and why they built this loyal fan base and so i'm excited i'm glad i got this information you know because i was like all right what am i going to cover from comic-con i'm on the press list now thanks to my friend andy and so i'm like you know and I, i'm going to cover other stuff like i said you'll see other stuff coming up for me but i was like what does that mean being on the press panel and what that means is you know companies get to reach out to you and say hey we have some information covered if you want you know don't whatever you know but here's the information and when i saw stuff for vikings coming in i got so pumped i was like Okay, well, this is one of the few shows that I actually watch right now and that I'm aggressively, you know, binging and getting through and uh, and, I, and I'm loving it. So it's, it, you know, absolutely my pleasure to cover this stuff and talk about the show. Uh, the host of the panel is going to be uh, a senior writer at TV Guide named Kate Hahn. 
Uh, and she's been, she's moderated some panels before, really awesome person. And I'm excited to see her, you know, talking to these people because I think she'll ask some really fun questions and get some really great information out there. And we're going to learn not just about season six, which is going to air this fall on History Channel, the second half of season six, because like I said, the first half they already aired and they, that's what they've done for seasons four, five, and six. They've kind of split them into two halves. They already filmed everything pre-pandemic. So, you know, luckily everything's done. They've been editing and working on it remotely, I believe. And now that second half is coming out this fall on History channel and so make sure you stay tuned and uh, i'll update whenever we get an actual release date i'll make a video covering it later but we'll probably maybe get a, a release date here at the panel which like i said is going to be on uh on, in july um on uh, july 24th uh, from 11 to 12 uh, p.m uh, P pacific standard time so 11 a.m to 12 p.m so 11 to noon uh, on that day so i'll put a link down below to that panel so you can watch it yourself if you're around that day since i won't be i'll be at work but i'll cover the information later on when i get home from work for sure um all right, so that's all the information that they're going to have at the panel. But now let's talk a little bit about Valhalla. So Valhalla is obviously the place where, you know, the knights go and the Vikings go after they die, if they've died an honorable death. And so this sequel series, spinoff sequel series, uh, is going to also be created by Michael Hurst, the creator of Vikings. And I don't know which characters are coming back, but I, I maybe some will come back in flashbacks. But I think it takes place 100 years in the future. And like I said, it's called Vikings Valhalla. And I, if I'm not mistaken... It might star, because I've been hearing rumors, so I don't know what exactly is solid right now, but it looks like um, Leif Erikson is going to be the main character, which if you don't know the history of Leif Erikson, do yourself a favor and check it out. That guy may have actually come to America, you know, way before Columbus did. Like, he was an awesome conqueror, and uh, and he's going to make a great character for a show, uh, especially written by Michael and, you know, and performed by the type and caliber of actors that he's already, they've gotten on this show alone. I can't wait to see who's going to play Leaf. Uh, we might even see Freitas uh, on the show and uh, possibly even William the Conqueror, like I said earlier, who is a descendant of Rollo in the history books. And I'm, I'm so pumped, man. Like I, I love History Channel and I love, the, you know, I, I can't believe this show slipped through the cracks all these years, but I'm glad I'm watching it now. And I, I urge you guys to do the same. And I will have more information about this. Like I said, that's this is all the information for the panel. So for those of you out there who are Viking fans, I know I haven't talked about it on the show yet, but that's because I've recently got into it. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, do I have enough room? I make so many shows as it is. Do I have enough room to talk about it? Well, I'll definitely cover Viking stuff here on on this channel you know, on Seek and Destroy, and maybe we'll do some uh, you know episode reviews when the final season airs too, and then we'll dive more into it when Valhalla. I think that'll be a better starting point for me to do the show, um, you know, to make a show based on Vikings and talk about Vikings. So we'll do that when Valhalla launches, but I'll still try to do some episode reviews and previous season reviews if I can of Vikings leading up to when Valhalla comes out for sure. Uh, so let me know what you think of all this. Again, I'll put a link down below to the uh, YouTube channel where they're going to have the panel so you can watch it yourself on Friday, July 24th from 11 a.m. to noon. And if you have any thoughts on it, if you've never seen the show, like have any questions, whatever it is, let me know down below. As always, we'll continue our conversation down there. We'll educate each other. We'll help each other out. And hopefully you guys will go check the show out. Like I said, if you're having money trouble right now and you're, you know, but you, if you have a device to watch it on, get Hulu for free for a month if you can and and check out the show all six seasons are up on there and you can also download the history channel app and you can watch stuff on the history channel app as well so uh definitely you know it's it's out there it's a cool show and i can't recommend it enough and i'll have more information we'll cover the panel when it comes out so thank you mgm for sending the press release and for letting you know the update in the comic-con website so i can find more details about this panel i'm excited to see where it goes and you know and what happens at the panel and what you guys announce and what you guys show uh i'm very much looking forward to it hopefully we'll get a trailer for the second half of season two and maybe a little snippet of you know valhalla maybe we'll see but uh, i'll have all the information when it drops so thank you guys so much let me know your thoughts below and as always we'll continue our conversation down there Thanks for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.